Hey everybody, my name is Sean Mullen for RampantDesignTools.com and today we're going to take a look at the brand new tracker in Adobe After Effects CS6. So for all of you editors out there, if you're looking to try to do the effect that's been made popular by the Discovery Channel where you've got text that's being tracked in surreal environments, the new tracker in After Effects is going to let you be able to accomplish that. For those of you out there who are more motion graphics or visual effects savvy and you use software like Boju, Synthize, PF Pro, Foundry Camera Tracker or the Mocha Pro 3, believe it or not, this tracker actually holds up. I've done about 45 tracks in this so far and so far I'm really impressed. Um, this particular tutorial is going to go into the basics of the camera tracker. I'm going to show you how easy it is to, to lock text into a scene. That's it. The finessing and more difficult tracks we're going to leave for another tutorial. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, here's our shot. Our, this was performed by our good friend Derek Darmstetter of Aspect Visual. Thank you a lot, Derek, for giving us this shot. This is the same shot that I used in the Glitch Effects promo. And as you can see, as we get towards the back of the room over this metal pile here, I want to put some text in there. And uh, it's a really gross environment. So thank you, Derek, for doing that because I wouldn't have shot in here. Um, so I'll just show you what the final result was in the Glitch promo. Roll that back and hit play. And we actually used a different tracker for this because the After Effects tracker wasn't out, but I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can recreate an effect like this uh, just using the built-in tracker into After Effects CS6. Alright, cool. So here's our clip. Drag it to a new composition. And this is a long track. I don't, I don't think we want to sit here and uh, deal with almost 30 seconds of tracking. So I'm going to start around 8 seconds and end around 14 seconds. And I will trim the comp to work area. There we go. So now we've got a, a pretty decent sized timeline, switch to full res. And the cool thing about the tracker is you've got a couple ways of attacking it. You can go to tracker, make sure your clip is highlighted and hit track camera. No big deal. Or you can go to effects and presets, twirl down perspective and right here, 3D camera tracker, you can just click and drag this to your clip. So now we just wait. It's a set it and forget it kind of thing. We just sit there and in a few minutes it'll be done. All right, as you can see, After Effects has thrown out a bunch of different tracking points here. And these cool circles that you see are actually called targets. And we'll get more into that in the next tutorial. But basically what you want to do here is, is find roughly where you want your text to be. And I think I want my text to be right back here. So check this out. This is really cool. You right click and it gives you some instant options here. So with one click I can create text and, and the camera. Cool. So my text is a little bit crooked and it's not quite right, but that's okay because we can reposition it, not a problem, just in 3D space, just kind of re-rotate it, whichever way we like, bring it up, and bring it back. There we go. That's better. And I can reposition it a little bit as well. All right, so let's hit play now. So let's hit preview now and see what we have here. There you go, it's that simple. We now have 2D text in a 3D camera track. It's pretty insane how easy that is. Now, of course, uh, my clients and customers do not want the word text, so it's not a problem. We'll just change this real quick. And I'll scooch this over just a little bit here. So now I've got a nice big bold rampant in my scene. Now if I don't necessarily want it that big, I can scale it down and I can reposition it any way I want. Let me bring it up a little bit. For those of you who have watched Casey's new tutorials, another great addition to After Effects CS6 is the ability to extrude 3D type. So now that we've got this great 3D track, let's make the type 3D. All you have to do is, let's go ahead and Make sure we're at quarter res here, which we are good. 
and switch from the classic 3D renderer to the ray traced 3D renderer, and OK. And the new geometry options tab appears, twirl that down. Let's extrude this to, I don't know, let's try 50. And let's change the bevel style to angular. Now right now it looks like a hot mess, so I'm going to go ahead and do layer new light. And make sure it's a point light. It could be any kind of light you want, but I'm going to use a point light. And boom, there we go. That makes a lot more sense. Now let's preview it. What we should have is nice extruded 3D type in your environment in just a minute or two. Not too bad, not too bad. So in less than a few minutes, you have 3D extruded text that's tracked to your scene. That's pretty amazing, and it's all built natively into After Effects. No extra plugins are required. It's pretty fantastic. Whether you're a seasoned pro in After Effects, or you're brand new to it, or you use it just sparingly, it doesn't matter. This is not going to take you long, and you can look like a rock star to your boss or to your client by being able to produce this kind of effect in under a few minutes. I'm very impressed with this new tracker, and I highly recommend everyone try it out. Special thanks to Casey Ferris for showing us how to extrude type in After Effects CS6. And so now you don't necessarily need to jump to a 3D app to do this kind of effect. So if you have any comments or questions or tutorial requests, leave a comment below. Hit us up on Twitter at twitter.com slash rampantdesign. Hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash rampantmedia. Of course, check out our website, rampantdesigntools.com, home of the highest resolution stock elements in the universe. And uh, come say hey, come hang out. Once again, I'm Sean Mullen for rampantdesigntools.com, and thanks for watching.